Nickelodeon Shimmer and Shine, Leah's Dream Dollhouse. <music> Leah was setting up a dollhouse tea party one morning when the doorbell rang. It was Zack. Hi, Leah, said Zack. He held up a toy dinosaur. I brought Artie a patasaurus. Great, Leah said. We're having a tea party. Zack reached into the dollhouse and tried to set the dino down, but its big tail knocked over the tiny kitchen table. Zack apologized and headed home to find a smaller toy. Who would Leah play with now? Suddenly, she had an idea. She called for Shimmer and Shine, her secret genie and training friends who could grant her three wishes. The twins appeared in a shower of sparkles with their pets, Nahal and Tala. I wish my doll had more friends to play with, Leah told the genies. Boom, Zara May, first wish of the day, chanted the genies. In a puff of magic, they shrank to doll size. Just then, Zack returned with a space alien toy named Glork. He put Glork in the dollhouse, and blue goo oozed out of the alien and covered the genies. I'll look for a toy that's not so messy, Zack said. He grabbed Glork and left. Shine wiped blue goo off her hands. Leah, do you have any clothes in doll size that we can borrow? Leah pointed to the dollhouse bedroom. Check the closet. Shine opened the closet doors and gasped. Look at all these clothes and these super cute shoes in every color, added Shimmer. The genies giggled as they tried on outfit after outfit. Leah smiled. I wish I could play in the dollhouse with you. Shine clapped her hands. Boom, Zara May, second wish of the day. Leah disappeared in a cloud of sparkling smoke. When Leah reappeared, she was as tiny as the genies and standing in the dollhouse closet. She hadn't meant to wish to be so small, but at least now she could play with the doll clothes too. When Zack suddenly returned, Leah dove under a pile of clothes to hide. I brought a new toy. Zack buckled Shimmer and Shine into Racing Richie, his race car. Racing Richie zoomed over the couch and off the walls. The car flew through the air and crashed into the dollhouse living room. Another mess, Zack groaned. I need to clean it up before Leah gets back. He put the genies in the dollhouse, closed it, and hurried out. I just had the ride of my life, exclaimed Shimmer. I have to get one of those race cars, declared Shine. I'm glad you had fun. But we should get out of this dollhouse, Leah closed her eyes. For my last wish, I wish we were back to normal. Shimmer twirled her bracelets. Boom, Zara May, third wish of the day. Leah and the genies grew and grew until they burst through the dollhouse. They were all back to their normal sizes. Oh no, we broke the dollhouse, Leah cried. Sorry, Leah, said Shimmer. I didn't mean to make a mistake. It's okay, said Leah. What matters is that you tried. Hey, we can make a new dollhouse out of the pieces, said Shine. She picked up a bottle. I've got the glue. Poof! Shimmer held up a jar. I've got the glitter. Working together, Leah, the genies, and the pets pieced the dollhouse back together. With a final puff of glitter, the dollhouse was complete. And it was even better than before. This is amazing, declared Leah. You really like it? Shimmer looked down at her empty glitter jar. It wasn't sure how it would turn out with just one jar of glitter. Leah nodded. It reminds me of my two best genie friends. So it's perfect. Just then, the girls heard a voice outside. Zack was coming back. The genies and their pets quickly hid in the kitchen. When Zack saw the new dollhouse, he couldn't believe how great it looked. Later, Shimmer and Shine joined Leah in the living room. Leah gave the genies a big hug. Because of our mistakes, we got to play with the dollhouse from the inside. And accidentally breaking it helped us make an even sparklier one, added Shimmer. Leah smiled. We fixed our mistakes, and the day turned out great. <laughs>